Now, you may know Jason Clark from the TV series Brotherhood that was shot here in Rhode Island. You also may know him from the Oscar-nominated movie Zero Dark Thirty. Now, Clark takes on the role of Senator Ted Kennedy in Chappaquiddick. I recently had a chance to sit down with Jason and director John Curran about this new film. My dad once said to me, Tragedy has a way of defining people. Cripple some people till they curl up into a ball. Oh my God, what have I done? It had to, first of all, been tough doing a movie about the Kennedys with that whole Kennedy background, knowing the power that they wielded at the time and in some ways probably still do, but it was also very respectful to, to Mary Jo and, and her family as well. I mean, you know, anytime you know, there's real people involved, you have a, uh, a duty to be honest be in, and be thorough and to have uh, reasons for doing it, a commitment to it. Right. And um, so it was very important for all of us. Yeah, I mean, I, I think what you said, you know, sort of rescuing Mary Jo from um, obscurity, I guess. He's always been overlooked, <clears throat> making her a real human being and of ambitions. Well, Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. Dad, see you still the man with all the influence. What the hell happened, Teddy? It was an accident. I was driving. When making this movie, were you surprised at how much maybe power that was wielded behind the scenes to basically try to make this go away or to try to protect Ted. When this yeah, happened. but you, you know, you gotta remember in 69, you know, it was presumed that he was gonna, it was gonna be a cakewalk into the nomination in 72 mm -hmm. for his party and he probably would have. Um, and that coupled with the fact that he's the last of the Kennedys, the boys, um, and that his father's incapacitated, so he's really the head of the Kennedy family now. And he's taken all of John's and Bobby's kids under his wing. So, you know, Teddy really is sort of the patriarch of the family at this point in time, and he's 37 years old. So the pressure that's on him, it's very important to contextualize who this guy was, the weight that was on him before this accident even happened. And so it's not surprising the wheels that go into motion um, after the accident. A story like this could dominate the headlines for weeks. Chief, we got a body. A dead body holds a lot of secrets. Those can be the difference between guilt and innocence. So we need to be in control of them. There's not a lot of senators that are charged with manslaughter that go on to become president. Oh, they were big days. Yeah. I mean, they were very big days. Martin Luther King was shot. Bobby Kennedy was shot. There were riots at 68. We were going to the moon in 69. There was, you know, tension, you know, still between the... I mean, it was important. There was a lot of stake politically in the world for everybody at that time. And so Ted came from a family of high achievers, right from his father, right from his, you know, his grandfather. And uh, the, the weight on him of just lineage and history and what he was holding up to, I mean, yeah, he drove off a bridge the day his... You know, they're putting a man on the moon, which is what Jack said in motion, which was a proud day for the family, and he brought disgrace. I know you shot Brotherhood in Rhode Island, so there's always a Rhode Island connection. And I was reading also that you actually met Ted Kennedy met while Ted. you were filming Brotherhood in Rhode Brotherhood, Island. Yeah. Did it help you because, not that you really knew the man, but you had some sort of connection to the man when you were playing this character? Brotherhood gave me my connection to American politics and politicians, you know. Rhode Island's a good really, place to do that. <laughs> it was a great place to do that, man. I really, you know, I, I got to know the, the inside out of the, you know, the machine and, you know, I was there when, I, when Obama came to town as well, you know, back in 2008, I think mm -hmm. it was, seven. Um, mm -hmm. It was, it helped a lot. It helped a lot to understand what it is to be a politician, a public face, meeting, greeting, decisions, helping people, having to not help that person, taking the repercussions yeah. that, it was, it was constantly, you're out there at battle, you know, leading the good fight right. in some people's eyes. This family perseveres, we have a true compass and we follow it. Moses had a temper. Peter betrayed Jesus. I have Tampa Quiddick. Moses had a temper, but he never left a girl at the bottom of the Red Sea. 
It was a good movie. It was Powerful. a really good movie, especially good. if you if you know the background. You don't have to go into it really knowing the background of, of what really went on. It's a, it was a good history lesson. Uh, you can take mm -hmm. it for what it's worth. Um, I think it's going to do really well, and he does a great job playing uh, the late senator. Yeah. He's very talented. Yeah, he's really talented. He's been in so many things. Apparently, he's gone sailing with Brian Cuno. We yes. just found that out today. <laughs> yes, so well. many Rhode Island connections. There are a lot. There's always a Rhode Island connection. Uh, Chappaquiddick comes out in select theaters this weekend. Um, and you can catch it at Cinema World in Lincoln this Thursday. I'll meet you there. All right.